want to simplify this. This is an example of a complex fraction because the numerator is another fraction and the denominator as well. What you need to do here is to simplify the numerator and the denominator separately and then we will just combine. Let us first simplify the numerator. 5, 6 minus 2 thirds. What is that? LCD is 6. This is 5. This becomes 4. This is 1, 6. What about the denominator? What is the LCD? It's 12. And then 2. This is 3 over 12 or 1 fourth. My numerator is 1 6. Div over my denominator is 1 fourth. Remember, class, that this is read as division. So, what is the rule again in division of fraction? It becomes division becomes multiplication and then get the reciprocal. So, the answer is 2 thirds. Letter C. Daniel spent 450 for a ticket to the show. This represents 3 fourths of his allowance for the week. How much is left that week for other expenses? You have to know first which one will you represent by your box. If you have fractions, you represent it by the phrase following the off phrase. So, this is his allowance. Alright? And then we get three-fourths of his allowance. So, we divide this first into four equal parts. And then we get three-fourths. So, that's three parts out of four. And from the problem, what is this referring to? This is 450, right? Our goal is to always determine what is this number inside your box. But from here, 450 is for three boxes. What is the amount in each box? Let me just write that. 450 is for three boxes. What is the amount in one box? So you divide by three, right? So the answer is 150 for each box. But the question is, how much is left that week? This one is left for other expenses. The answer is letter G. Next, Anna ate one half of a cake on Sunday and two thirds of what was left on Monday. What fractional part of the cake was left after Monday? Remember, do not just get fractions. You do not just get numbers and then add or subtract without really knowing what is happening in the problem. So that's why representing it with models is very important. Okay, I will represent everything by a box always. This is my cake. And I ate one half of it on Sunday, right? What was left? What was left after eating one half? This one is left. But she ate two thirds of what? Of what was left. Understand? So what will you get? You get two thirds of what was left. Let us get two thirds of that. How will we do that? We divide it into three parts. I will get two thirds of this. So I will first get three parts. Where is two thirds of this? We will get this part, right? She ate this on 
Monday. But if you can see, the boxes, you have now different sizes. What you need to do if you, you just continue the line here. What is left? This part here is left. And based on your model, what is that? That is one part of six. One, six. The answer is letter D. In Roy's fruit stand, one-third of the fruits she sells are papayas and one-fourth are watermelons. If the remaining 20 fruits are pineapples, how many fruits are in her fruit stand? What do we represent by a box? The phrase after the off phrase. This is the fruits because I want to get one-third of her fruits. This is for... Papayas that is already shaded. This one, papayas. Get one fourth of the fruits, right? So you use a horizontal line, meaning to say, do not mind these lines. We will divide it into four parts using horizontal lines. We have one like that if you look at this where is one fourth one part one part is this right one part two parts like a third and then fourth but if you look at one part it consists of three smaller boxes but since this is already shaded i will now get three boxes where is the remaining? This part over here. And that would be 20 fruits, which are pineapples. So what do we have? We have five boxes is for 20, 20 fruits. One box is divided by five, divided by five. Alright, but the question is how many fruits are in her fruit stand? In your diagram, you have how many smaller boxes? You have 3 times 4 or 12 boxes. One box has 4 fruits, so therefore 12 boxes would have 4 times 12. 48. The answer is letter D. Next, Mrs. Manalo spent two-thirds of the monthly family income and divided the remainder between four different savings banks. If she puts 2000 into each bank, what was the amount of her income that month? What will we represent by the box? Monthly family income. We get two-thirds of that, right? This is already spent. And the remainder, where is the remainder? This part. She divided it into four different savings pack. We will divide this into four equal parts. And she puts... 2,000 in each bank. The question is, what was the amount of her income that month? This entire thing has 8,000 pesos, right? 8,000. Therefore, what is the amount of her income that month? So from the diagram, we have three 8,000. So the answer is, 8,000 times 3 or 24,000. Letter C. Pause your video and try to answer this question. There are 3 times as many girls as boys. How do you represent that? Girls and boys. We need to represent the boys first because the girls is just 3 times of that or 
three boxes, right? The question is, what part of the students are boys? What will be in our denominator? The one after the off phrase, right? So, total number of students and then in the numerator, you put the boy. So, what's the answer? 1 over 4. Okay, why is it 1? You have 1 box. How many boxes represent the number of students? You have 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, pause your video and try to answer this. Mr. Rich owns two sevenths of a piece of property. If the value of his share is 140,000, what is the total value of his property? What will represent the property? You have seven boxes. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? But he only owns two sevenths of that. And the value of his share is 140,000. What is that saying? 140,000 is good for two boxes. Our goal is to always determine the amount in each box. So one box has 70,000, right? Divide by two. 70k that's 70,000 what is the total value of the property so we want the value of the entire rectangle so what is that it consists of seven boxes so one box has 70,000 so seven boxes has 70,000 times seven or 490,000. Letter B. Again, pause your video and try this problem. Tony's family spends 500 per month for his school service. This is 4 over 15 of his total monthly school expense. Assuming that the school expenses remain constant, what is the total expense for? one year. What will represent by our box? His monthly school expense because we want to get 4 over 15 of that. Anyway, assuming that you have here 15 smaller boxes and then you have the 4 parts there is for the school service, right? And they spend 500 pesos. So meaning to say this four parts here is 500. So four boxes, that's 500. So what is the amount in each box? Divide by four, that is 125. Now, take note that the box here is monthly school expense. But the question is school expense for one year. So first, we have to get the monthly school expense. And how many boxes is that? 15 boxes, right? So, one box has 125, so 15 boxes, 125 times 15, 1,875. But that's the monthly. We still have to multiply it by, well, 22,500. The answer is letter Last problem for this module, pause your video and try to answer the following. After selling two-fifths of the polo shirts in his shop before Christmas, Mr. Gross sold the remainder of the shirts at the same price per shirt after Christmas for 4500 What was the income from the entire merchandise? What will we present by 
the box. The total number of shirts. Because we want to get two-fifths of that. So we will divide it first into five equal parts. And then we, we get two parts. So this was sold before Christmas. And then after Christmas, she, he sold the remainder, right? This is the remainder. And he sold it for 4500 Again, our goal is to get the amount in each box. But from our model, 4500 is good for three boxes. So what is the amount in one box? So divide by... 4,500 divided by 3 is 1,500. The question is, what was the income from the entire merchandise? But the merchandise is represented by how many boxes? 5 boxes. So 5 boxes... One box is one five, right? One thousand five hundred. So five boxes is one thousand five hundred times five. So that's seven thousand five hundred. Letter P. Mm -hmm.